Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. My name's Dale. So this is the Q&A for the bolt circle video I did last Friday. And I really got some interesting comments and I need to get make some clarifications on this project or what my goal was. My goal of doing a bolt circle like this was to do it in the simplest fashion. And I got several comments about using a DRO or, you know, you still need to use your rotary table and comments along that line. And I have to apologize to you guys. I guess I didn't make it clear on my video. The goal of this was to simplify it. And I'm gonna actually have a, a quote here from Mike Pado. Good video, Dale. I can use this one on my drill press. You know, I am a fan of the KISS principle, and this is really simple. The KISS principle is an acronym that means keep it simple, stupid. And that's what I was trying to do with this bolt circle. And I think it's very important to realize that there's a lot of ways to do every project. So one of the other things that I didn't clarify on this video is how I laid out the seven holes. And I apologize for that. I'm trying to keep this, these videos as short as possible. And I kept that out. So here from Ben Purdy, nice, but how did you set the dividers? That's a great question. And when I show you this, you guys are gonna kinda get mad at me. It is simply trial and error. So let me show you what I did. On my metal lathe, I cut this one circle, and that was one of my layout lines. Well, I'm gonna do it just a little different this time. I'm gonna go in with my Formaphrodite calipers, and I'm just gonna, now there's other ways to find the center of everything. I'm just showing you, guys, a quick way of doing it that's a little different than normal. And accuracy on a layout like this is really up to you and how much time you want to do it. You can spend some really good quality time on this and get this bolt circle probably within, you know, plus or minus two thousandths. So I'm going to just put a center hole here. Bring out my dividers, make a circle. Again, I'm just kind of doing this in a random fashion. Just as a quick representation of what's possible. Now, I would just basically guess and go, well, this is a good distance for seven, and I would literally go around and see what happens. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Too bad I'm not trying to do eleven holes. But you get what I'm trying to do here. Now I know that I would have to spread this out a little bit further and trial and error and keep working it until it is just right. And with intolerance is what I need to do on this particular project. Because remember, Pride in a project is not just about doing the highest quality, but it's doing the right amount of labor for each project. I could spend a good 15 minutes laying this out and getting it within a thousandth of an inch, but is the value there for my time? And because I pull back on some of the details, that does not mean I don't take pride in working on this, that just means there's a certain level that everything has to be taken to. I've got a surface grinder. Do I really want to grind every part down to a ten thousandths of an inch when it's not necessary? I'd say no. So here's what we've got. We've got this kind of laid out. Now one extra tip here for Mike about doing it on the drill press is a drill press quill has a, quite a bit of movement in it. What I would do is I would go back in 
and I would carefully punch and do a center hole on each one of my marks that I decided on to really help guide this and get it started. And I would start out with a very small bit, you know, around a sixteenth of an inch so it lines up, hits those holes. Then I would go in and go to a larger and larger until I get to the size that I need. So, Ben, I hope I clarified that's how I laid it out. It's not scientific, it's not mathematical, but it does work and it can be very accurate and it's really up to who's doing the work. Now, um, Acklin 3 said, nice video. I printed out a circle and a bolt pattern on the printer. That is also a great way of doing it. And that will get you, again, within, you know, five thousandths of an inch, no matter how the paper moves or how thick your ink is when it's laid down and makes the lines. But that is also a real great and valid way to lay it out. Here is Schnitzelhals. I hope I pronounced that right. That's what I do. I found being on a budget made me more creative. What a great statement. A lot of the time, I cannot tell you did it using a fancy, proper tool. And that really is getting back to being, having pride of your work. If you take the time, you can really tweak things out without having all the fancy equipment. David, David Stevens. I'm in the don't have a dividing head or rotary table circle, but have a vise and the same machine tools, par parallel bars, etc. So this is a very handy technique. David, you got it. You understand what I was trying to do by this, is to keep it simple. And that is what I was trying to do here, is say you don't have to have all the fancy tooling to get the job done. Kasten1705 left a great note for plus T2H instructionals. The easiest way I have found so far is to go to the theoreticalmachinist.com and just enter the numbers. That is a great website and an excellent suggestion. As you can go to the theoreticalmachinist.com and they have all these different calculators and one of them is for bolt holes. And fantastic way to do it because something I didn't talk about yet is that old DRO will, will work really well. I can enter in the coordinates, drill the holes, do the whole thing. And it's a great way of also drilling holes. And I'll probably do a video on that uh, sooner than later just, uh, just for the fun of it to show you other ways of doing it. Now there is one way I will never do it well. Gosh, you got to be careful about that. I can get the coordinates and I can actually use the cranks and the scales that are on those cranks to do the measuring. But I got to tell you, that's dedication. That would be a lot of work, but it is, you know, and can be if you know the backlash on your machine as accurate as a DRO. I just lose counting the rotations, but for another time. So that wraps it up for another Q&A and on the bolt circles. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Please give me some thumbs up if you did. Also leave your comments. And until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.